In order to install Kali Linux on top of Windows, we'll be needing two things. The first one is the ISO image of Kali Linux and the second is the virtual box itself. So in order to download, let's head over to any browser and search for Kali Linux download. Click on its official website. Now just select the installer images and click on the download icon to download the file. As I have already downloaded the file, I will not be downloading it again. Then open a new tab and search for virtual box download. Just click on its official website and select Windows OS. If you are on Mac, then you can select Mac OS and the same goes with Linux too. Now after downloading, install the virtual box. After the virtual box is installed, open it and just tap on new. In the given dialog box, give a name for your operating system. Then the folder where you want to save your virtual machine. Then select the ISO image. For that, select others and then locate the ISO which you have downloaded earlier. After you select the ISO, there is no need to select the type and version. You can just continue by clicking next. Here it will ask to allocate RAM and processors for your virtual machine. The minimum recommended MAM for Kali Linux to work properly is 2GB and the PC should have at least 4GB of RAM in order to run Kali Linux on a virtual machine. I am gonna give 4GB to it and for the processor I will give it 2 cores as it is enough for now. Click next to continue. Now it will ask for create a virtual hard disk. The minimum recommended space for running Kali Linux is 25GB. Here I will give around 60GB of space. Finally the virtual machine is set up. Now let's start the machine. After starting, the installer will begin. Now select the preferred language and region and then continue with the installation. Then it will ask you to provide host name and domain name for the operating system. Then it will ask you to create an account, just provide the essential details and create an account. Then select the first option in the partitioning method which is use entire disk. This will automatically partition your disk and make it ready for the installation. Then in the next screen select finish partitioning and write changes to disk. Click on yes to confirm and the installation will begin immediately. Here select your preferred desktop environment. The default desktop environment will be XFCE but I'll select Plasma 2 as I like its interface and now hit continue for the remaining installation. Here just select yes and continue. Finally, the installation got over. Just reboot and the virtual machine will boot into Kali Linux. Now to make the virtual machine full screen, press Ctrl and F together. And to fix the display, you can go to settings manager and then display. Now change the resolution to fit your display. 
If you think this video was informative, make sure to hit like and subscribe this channel for more cool contents like this. With that said, let's meet in the next one.